Good everybody, what's up? Robert Hollis here. Uh, Peter asked me a question, and the question was, how did you first, um, what's your first journey into entrepreneurship? What was your first, um, how did you first become an entrepreneur? Um, and it's quite a, dude, I've always been hustling shit. I mean, I remember clearly when I was five years old, I was living in Fiji, and um, there was this chick in my class, and, and she used to she used to like me or whatever. But I, I've got no creative ability whatsoever. And she would make these like these awesome, cool little uh, like toy paper boat things. And and my first entrepreneurship business was it sounds so bad to say it was, hey, um, could you make me like ten of those? And she'd give me one. And so anyway, she'd made me ten. And then I literally flipped them for like five cents each and then went to the tuck shop and like, I don't know, bought an ice cream or something. So that was when I was five. So like, I think it's just got worse since then. And I actually remember like, in terms of negotiation stuff, I remember clearly I was six years old and my, um, and uh, my, the school principal, we had these, these guests come over when I was in Fiji and they, they, we wanted to do this big performance for them and they wanted me to do the haka for them and I was the only like I guess Maori kid at school it was all you know Fijians and Indians and stuff and uh, so they wanted me to do the haka and the crazy thing is I still remember I was six years old and the principal called me into his office to ask me to do it and I clearly remember I was like so like you want me to do this haka all right well and I was six, I was like, well, I've got leverage now because you need a skill set that I have, so this is gonna cost you. And I remember I negotiated with the principal, who must be like 50 or 60 years old when I was six years old, to buy me an ice cream from the tuck shop once again, eating food, um, to do it. And it was flipping classic, you know? And then when I was when I was 10 years old, I still remember this as well, I couldn't really afford to, to play at the golf club and I was getting into, I tried to, you know, I was trying to get into golf a little bit or whatever. And, um, I clearly remember biking from school to Ascot Golf Course in Christchurch, and it was a par three course, and there was a small little, uh, small little like lake on this par three. It was like you know 100, barely 100 meters or so, but it basically everyone would eat shit and always get in the water. And so literally, what I'd do in the middle of winter, or I think it was like winter, whatever it was, is I'd go when it was dark and I'd dive in the lake like when no one was there digging up all the, the golf balls and then I'd clean them, come back the next day and then flip them for like 50 cents a pop and then, you know, literally probably same thing, like go to the tuck shop and buy more food. You know, so like my, I've known nothing else except doing stuff. So the answer is I think, I guess it's just been in the in the blood or DNA to, to do these type of things. I mean, look, if I saw a six-year-old negotiating with a sixty-year-old, I'm like, that guy's just, you know, the dude's a little hustler. And I think I just that was that was me. So, uh, my first journey into entrepreneurship was literally when I was four or five years old, um, and I think that that mindset has just been in the DNA. And then obviously things are <laughs> clearly escalating a little bit different now, but with the same intensity. There, you know, like find an opportunity be brave enough to give it a crack and then hopefully figuring out something on the other side that you can enjoy what you do and uh, and be ticking along. So Peter, that is how I got into entrepreneurship. Now the answer, probably the biggest thing with it is if I would have had a, been given a bit of a different skill set earlier or more opportunities around that space, I maybe would have got to where I am now faster. Um, and that's one thing I probably do um, maybe regret a little bit is, you know, I wish I was maybe just a little bit more book smart because then I could probably have sped up the process to you know, to get to, you know, a l little bit of success a little bit faster than um, thing. And so, you know, the pro one regret is that. So my first journey into entrepreneurship, I was five and I was hustling paper boats. <laughs> now we're doing a whole bunch of other shit. So anyway, that, that is that. Cheers for asking a question and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.